603 in the morning and we continue to follow breaking news all morning long. Scott Reif is live in Air 7 HD over what was a strip mall fire. How's it going, Scott? Yeah, Leslie, a small little strip mall. We think about five units in there, and the fire starting, uh, we understand, in a laundromat, according to L.A. County Fire. Now, for the most part, it is a knockdown. We see a little flame here and there. They're knocking down the front, the facade of the building itself. Uh, it, at one time, though, it fully engulfed this structure. It completely made the roof collapse. We don't believe that anyone was inside, so that is certainly good news. Uh, we understand that one firefighter may have minor injuries, but right now is the mop-up. You can see they're working on it pretty diligently. They're going to clear this pretty quickly. They already have the bulldozer out trying to knock down the building, so a complete loss. From Air 7 HD, I'm Scott Wright. For more, we go to Darsha Phillips. Scott, thank you. Yes, here on the ground, we have been told that the fire is completely knocked down. It did badly damage five biz businesses, including a pet store, but that pet store was vacant, so that is the good news. And it appears that most of the businesses were vacant, so it doesn't appear that uh, too many uh, people or, or will be uh, damaged or, or hurt by this. Now, joining me right now is Joe Quinones. You saw this all happen. Describe it for us. Uh, around uh, 4 o'clock in the morning, I noticed that there was fire, there was a lot of sirens. I come out and I thought it was my car on fire because the previous week there was a sofa that was on fire already where my car is parked, right over there. So I thought it was my car. I come out and I see flames, I see all this commotion going on and sure enough, just it just got worse and worse. And what was going through your mind? Were you scared? Uh, did anyone have to be evacuated? I'm not sure because I do know there's apartment buildings right behind it. There's apartment buildings next to it and, of course, the ones in front. So I, I figured and maybe someone lived in the laundromat, but luckily I don't think anybody was hurt. So. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us and giving us that information. And, again, take a look at the scene right now. They are just in the mopping up stages. Uh, they are cleaning up this fire that broke out about 3.15 this morning. It began in a laundry mat, we are told. And when crews arrived on scene, they saw heavy smoke and flame coming from the building. The fire then spread to the attic and began to grow very quickly, creating a pretty dangerous situation. A, a roof partially collapsed and one firefighter was injured. He was taken to the hospital, but he is expected to be okay. Uh, crews then had to take a defensive stance and fought the fire from the outside of the building. Now, crews again have completely knocked down the flames right now. Uh, they were dousing some of the hot spots, making sure that no flare ups occurred, but it does appear that they have a bulldozer, as you can see, breaking down the building. So, this is, like Scott said, a complete loss. They're just uh, tearing it down. And what they want to do is make sure that there's no hot spots left in that attic there. They don't want any flare ups, so that is why. They are doing that now. Again, uh, the cause is still under investigation, and crews say it may be some time before they figure out exactly what caused this fire. That's the latest from La Mirada. I'm Darsha Phillips, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.